Hayden Pasco from uh, Orange Pixel and um, if you're new to the channel this makes no sense but if you are regular to the channel look at, we have some new artwork on the wall finally it arrived the new residual poster um, just needed something new and fresh and, and now it's there so um, that's what you're gonna be seeing behind me for the next couple of months I guess at least so um, also on residual actually playing the new version uh, it's now live on switch the version 1.1.3 I think yeah I'm pretty sure um, it went a little bit faster than I thought to lot check let me just turn off the sound here um, we submitted it and I expected it to be 20 to 30 days before the game or the patch would be live um, if you start submitting a patch at Nintendo it will actually tell you that there has to be a 20 day delay between um, lot check passing lot check and being able to release it but if it passes lot check which it did in like four days I think you can actually get another message that says you can just push it live whenever you want to so it apparently can be done within like six or seven days which is very good news because that means all the updates that I still plan for residual will be on Nintendo uh, on the switch version a lot faster so um, that's very good news there is one minor issue um, let me let me that minor issue is there is a tiny bug um, if you're playing the game in French on the switch <clears throat> yeah I'm, all right I'm not sure uh, this bug is very weird there is a character in the French translation um, where I put three dots as a little delay uh, the French translator apparently created a character that has three dots in one so one character being three dots uh, anyway the game bugs out on that uh, easy fix for now don't play it in French language but of course some people might want to play it in French language an update is coming um, I'm guessing it's gonna be a little bit over a week we already fixed it um, we're gonna push it to Nintendo uh, Serious Lion is building it right now as I'm recording this and then I'll be pushing it after I record this I think that's all the important stuff before the intro um, yeah that's that's already a lot of stuff I had a very productive week do the intro now show you what I've been doing all week To prove I'm actually literally doing this right now this is ROM upload and we're gonna select a ROM file and upload patch number two and um, upload it to switch so um, yeah version is coming okay so that's uploading and um, like I said should be live soon uh, sorry I'm a bit chaotic and all over the place today I'm recording this video on Monday last Monday if you're watching on Thursday I uh, usually I record them before the weekend on Friday and then I have some extra time on Saturday to either edit or maybe redo some things but now it's on my admin day I need to shoot this video edit it and then also do all the stuff I usually do on Mondays and people are talking to me and it's a bit hectic I'm a bit hectic it's a bit of chaotic video but um, I also been very productive first thing I want to show you is some stuff I've been doing for residual uh, because we're on that topic anyway um, I've been working on the big update that I'll be introducing um, where we'll be able to hop from planet to planet and the first step for that was making sure we can actually um, land on a planet and not just crash on it so that's what I've been tinkering with uh, last Saturday as I wasn't doing anything with the video I had some time to tinker with it so, uh, let me just show you how it looks now and sorry for being chaotic at the end of the video it will all be over so all right so starting residual um let's do a little new game first thing you'll notice is um they have a bunch of runes i cheat myself into those we have a new galaxy little button here this was already in the game i just hit it from everybody but there are a lot more galaxies being created and this is the new galaxy cepheus and um let's find a little planet like um sona x and instead of crashing on these planets, we'll be actually properly landing on them. And there we have it. No crash and the full spaceship is visible. Uh, we can of course enter the spaceship and instead of sleeping at the chair, we will be able to just sleep in our own bunk at the front of the spaceship. 
and a lot of new options will become available. Uh, the chair will let us lift off the planet. This is where we sleep. Of course, the computer and EDP are there and there might be some new stuff being added to the ship. Uh, we can get in, we can get out. And uh, once I build it into it, we can actually lift off the planet whenever we want and land on another planet. And um, that start of the new residual chapter two. This is phase one. Um, fully working now and also new graphics uh, we still had a bunch of graphics available that weren't in the main game uh, dmac the intern created these like months ago i think somewhere in april so we had a bunch of these graphics lying around and they are all used for this new galaxy so that the galaxy will also look different feel different and the planet sizes will be um, also very different this is a very tiny planet um, nothing else has changed yet it will change of course but so far it's pretty much the same game uh, but these planets already have different sizes so we can really well here's the edge already and the spaceship was on the left edge so as you can see it's a very tiny small planet and there will be very uh, many changes in those regards also the layout of these planets will be completely different i'm going to be building new templates so this galaxy will really feel like a completely new game and um, it will all be part of residual uh, phase two so i'm um, pretty glad with this already and um let's do some sleeping and sign off for residual so that's the start of phase two for residual um a lot of things need to be added and done so i'm pretty much trying to keep all this new stuff away from the main game so it's not interfering with everything that's in the main game and um, it will be in the game uh, as we push updates for smaller things but it won't just it just won't be accessible by you guys um, until we get to the point where it's actually um, time to open it up but that's gonna be um, i don't know a little while in the future um, regulator city is still my main project and um, that has also seen a lot of productivity this week not just by me but also dmac has been doing so many graphics and asset creation and i just had to implement them so this week my focus was on building environments or areas uh, using all the assets he created and building all these different areas that we'll be able to play in uh, the missions will have to wait a little bit I, I, those are another thing to add but i just wanted to see all these graphics in action and make sure that everything was working animations were okay and sizes were correct and all that stuff so um, a lot of new areas added to the game uh, let me just uh, show you a couple of them or probably all of them as they are looking pretty cool also a lot of changes in the city but i'll get to that in a minute uh, let's just dive into an area the chopper is now fully working not sure if i showed that last time uh, then it was still a bit tinkering with it but it's now um, functional enough let's enter a building all right apartment area this area hasn't changed since last time um, furniture placement has been improved a little bit but it's still far from perfect so um, let's just skip to another area I think I have code for that now there let me see the command for it indoor and then um, let's see I think four all right uh, the airfield oh I have to take out the soldier um, these airplanes are uh, pretty awesome and pretty big. I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna fill up this airfield because, well, such big planes. Um, yeah, it, it looks like they are parked by somebody who's blind or something. No offense, but you can't put planes like that so close to each other. Uh, but for me, the main point was making sure functionality-wise they all work. Especially Z-sorting or order sorting or whatever you want to call it. It looks like we're looking at all these things from above, but obviously this is all flat 2D pixel art. There is no height, but I still needed to be able to uh, walk behind the airplane, but also underneath these wings that are obviously higher than our character. So uh, that took a lot of work to make sure it all fits and works and runs. And uh, now it, that it does, we have a couple of airplanes. Um, I just need to figure out how I'm gonna be placing these airplanes in this area and how I make this area interesting. Uh, containers, airplanes, we'll have to see how to do it. But um, for now, this is the airfield and um, not bad. Let's move on to the next one. Indoor area five, which is the hospital, I believe. Um, there's a lot more to see in this one. I think the floor is still way too busy, 
type floor it's just going to be probably one color um, to simplify everything that's going on uh, but a lot of interesting details like all these beds operation table cleaning kits we now have these guys in their beds and patients they're just um well little bugs here and there but we'll fix them um a lot of stuff and of course also a new layout so a hospital has a lot of little rooms not sure what type of missions we'll be playing in these rooms but i can imagine we need to uh, find somebody or maybe escort something not sure yet but the area is being created and um, there are some more hospital type furniture being created by dylan i think we have like wheelchairs and such and um, when i saw the wheelchair i told him we should also have an enemy that sits in a wheelchair with maybe a bomb strapped on and just it comes at you like a crazy madman so um fun stuff is going to be added to the hospital let me see did we have another one i think I think I made some changes. No, the storage room. This all just got changed with a bunch of new layouts and, and uh, fixing how furniture was placed and also fixing a lot of stuff with uh, rendering, sorting orders and bullets flying around. Uh, lots of content and stuff being added to the game. Which I think brings us to, we're just gonna go back there. Uh, the map. We have a huge amount of new buildings. Um, I'm still tinkering with where stuff is being placed. Let me just see if I can place something. Like we have the airfield now. Um, it's actually two tiles wide. Let me hear. Yeah. Let me play. This is still a bit buggy, but are we going to be able to place bigger, uh, bigger buildings, bigger areas uh, on the map? So the airfield now has actually two tiles available, and um, everything that's being built around it should. I mean, it doesn't make much sense that we have this huge... Well, actually, it could be a hotel in that case. It does make sense to be near an airfield. But the logic between all these type of buildings still needs to be figured out and sorted out. But um, we have a bunch of them. Let me just quickly fill up this whole uh, city with a bunch of new buildings and uh, show you what I've been looking at most of the week, which is a very thriving a very interesting looking city we have some factories now so we can place factories uh, scrap yards and storage rooms around it we can of course still create slumber areas although well a couple of big skyscrapers um, but it's kind of looks very interesting to have this whole city up and running and it almost makes me want to focus on the city building aspects more than on the action but um, yeah, I shouldn't. I should combine them into one game and see what happens. Uh, that was the main goal, the main focus. But it would be very interesting to at some point in time, maybe just make a city building game. Just purely focus on that stuff. Never done one, never played one. Well, I played some way many, many decades ago, but it could be interesting. Um, also still need to figure out why some of these cars are just, they're just, traffic jam they should just go drive drive but tiny bugs tiny things we'll get there um lots of content lots of talking i think i'm done so um monday is not my day to record these videos people are talking to me on the chat i have emails coming in i have just a bunch of stuff i need to do but i needed to create this video so that I, tomorrow i can just dump dump no jump back into regulator city and start working on all the things that i want to create um people have been asking me when is it available is it coming to mobile is it coming to first of all the platforms uh, pc is my main focus for all the games i'm creating from now on i hope to just become uh, just become big enough to just do pc games and of course console games uh, that's really where my heart is and i think mobile mentioned this many times before mobile is losing uh, interest for premium games um, I might still release games on there every now and then I might still get these things up and running on mobile but my main focus is just gonna be the PC and the console versions and get it up and out there first um, as for this game I'm working towards a Kickstarter probably most likely I will be needing some cool artwork um, to make that happen I have a logo but like I think uh, 
can I get there? No, I can't. Uh, anyway, we have this little regulator city logo, but it needs to be um, a cool artwork. So I'm gonna be jumping on art station, deviant art sites like that, trying to find somebody who can do artwork for me. If you think you can do the artwork for my game, um, let me know, contact me, poke me on Discord, wherever. Um, I need some good um, marketing type artwork for it. And um, then we'll be able to start a Kickstarter somewhere early uh, next year, probably. And um, after that, we'll see when it releases. It's gonna be uh, hopefully uh, faster and quicker than residual, but never know what happens. Maybe a publisher picks it up, maybe not. But the next couple of months, this is where my focus is, uh, Regulate City, and I'll try to put time into residual, um, like one day a week or something like that. And of course, there's another game that we might be working on together with Serious Lion. I uh, can't tell you much about that just yet, but busy times. For now, uh, that's it. This video is done. I need to edit it, need to upload it, and need to do all my Monday stuff. It's already 2 p.m., so I need to get uh, going. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you next week because I'm gonna record next week's video the end of this week so that it can be done in my uh, normal schedule, which works a lot better than on Mondays. I can tell you that. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.